The evacuation of Saigon, also known as Operation Frequent Wind, was the largest helicopter evacuation in history, marking the end of the Vietnam War. This operation took place in April 1975, as North Vietnamese forces closed in on the South Vietnamese capital, Saigon, now known as Ho Chi Minh City. After years of conflict, the Paris Peace Accords of 1973 intended to establish peace in Vietnam. However, the agreement failed to hold, and by early 1975, North Vietnamese forces had launched a major offensive against the South. As they captured key territories and cities, it became clear that Saigon's fall was imminent. The U.S., having withdrawn its combat troops following the Paris Peace Accords, found itself in a precarious position, needing to evacuate its citizens, South Vietnamese allies, and others at risk of persecution by the advancing North Vietnamese. The U.S. Embassy in Saigon and military commanders began planning for an evacuation, but the operation faced significant challenges. There was an initial reluctance to start a full-scale evacuation for fear of precipitating the collapse of the South Vietnamese government. However, as the North Vietnamese forces continued their advance, the situation became increasingly desperate. Operation Frequent Wind was officially launched on April 29, 1975, under the command of U.S. Ambassador Graham Martin. The plan called for helicopter evacuations from designated points in Saigon, including the U.S. Embassy Compound and the DAO Compound Defense Attaché Office at Tan Son Nhut Airport. Fixed-wing aircraft evacuations had become too dangerous due to the threat of North Vietnamese artillery and ground advances. The operation involved a massive airlift of American helicopters from U.S. Navy carriers stationed off the coast. Over the course of approximately 24 hours, these helicopters carried out around 1,000 flights, evacuating more than 7,000 people. This included American citizens, third-country nationals, and thousands of at-risk South Vietnamese, including many former South Vietnamese officials and their families. The evacuation was chaotic. Crowds of desperate people seeking evacuation swarmed the U.S. Embassy and the DAO compound. Many were left behind despite frantic efforts to get as many people out as possible. Reports of people clinging to departing helicopters underscored the desperation and chaos of those final hours. Saigon fell to North Vietnamese forces on April 30, 1975, marking the official end of the Vietnam War. The city was renamed Ho Chi Minh City, and the country was reunified under communist rule. The evacuation of Saigon remains a poignant symbol of the end of the Vietnam War. It represented a tragic conclusion for the United States' involvement in Vietnam, highlighting the immense human cost of the conflict and the desperate circumstances of those caught in its wake. The images and stories from those final days continue to resonate, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of war and the plight of refugees.